I'm Tom Greg Dawson, and this is a place for Rover, for Airbnb, for your pet. So, it turns out 39% of U.S. families have a problem. This is Jeff, Dickey, and Sasha, and their family. And they have, they have an issue when they want to go on vacation, and so they have a Chihuahua and a Great Dane. You've got to give them credit just for that. <laughs> so, so when they go on vacation, this is normally what they have to do. They have to go to a kennel. The problem with kennels are they're extremely expensive, they're overcrowded, and they're unsanitary. Here's our solution. After I gave my pitch on Friday night, Bruce Hamilton came and said, you know, I've got five acres in Monroe. I'd love to take it. If anyone's got a dog, I'd love to take a dog. I'm do it for really cheap. So here's a house wants to take a dog, our goal is can we match folks with Bruce Hamilton. It turns out there are a lot of people looking for this. There are 39% uh, of US households have a dog. It's even higher than I thought. There's 75 million dogs in the United States. 17 million households use kennel services. But of the folks that we surveyed, the 75 that we surveyed, only 10% only said that was a preferred solution. On average, 274 in the national survey and our survey, over $400 a year, $30 a night on average for kennel services. Roughly 10% of those that we surveyed said that they spent over $1,000 a year for boarding their pet. So it's a, it's a huge market. So let, let, let's show you what we built this weekend. I'm, here's our, here's our studly college student. No. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Phil. I'm, next weekend, I'm going to be visiting my grandparents in Colorado. I'm going with my whole family. And uh, we have to figure out what to do with our dog. So I show up at our lovely website here. Let's see if we can just. Ooh, okay. So earlier I, I came here and I signed up, you know, um, maybe listed my home, something like that. But for now, I already created an account, so I'll just log in. Uh, so it's figured out we're at Amazon, right? But I'm, I don't actually live here most of the time. Uh, even though it feels like the last few days. Uh, I have actually the zip code 98115, so okay, it locates me. Um, let's see, it's next week, cool. Um, let's see, so maybe, you know, the, my dog's pretty big and apartment's not gonna fly, so houses only, great. So three choices. Uh, four stars I think is pretty good, right? Let's see, um, okay, so my house is really great, sounds pretty good, they take big dogs, my husky, oh, my dog's a husky, perfect. So they got four stars from them. I guess they're nice looking house. That's a little run down maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll send them a message, we'll arrange details, and we'll pay me. Or I'll pay them actually. <laughs> so that's, that's a Bill an incredible team of devs built basically, you know, the core of Airbnb over the so let's give them a hand for that. Woo! Yeah. Really to, to, do, to, to use a service like this. So approximately two thirds said, yeah, I'd love to use a service like this if it existed. And, um, and 40, over 40% 40 said, I, I'd be willing to host a dog. Um, so we think there's a market here for that. And not only that, this was even better news, is that they're willing to pay for it. So the amount that folks are willing to pay was actually, um, the, the hosts are willing to accept less than the, than the, than the amount that the, the pet owners are willing to pay. So there's a nice little spread there. We think that's a, a great market dynamics and, and, some, and some room for us to play. So what are, you know, we think these are the two big issues, customer acquisition and customer retention. Customer acquisition, you know, we're going to focus on this Seattle market first. There's, there's all kinds of dogs that, that lists. We ran a lot of social uh, programs over, over the weekend. Got, got a huge amount of response. People, turns out, love their dogs. Customer retention, we think the key is trust. And that's why we're going to be the only site that rates both the homes for dog owners as well as the dogs themselves. We think that data is extremely valuable to compete against folks like Craigslist, where you have that trust element, so they really crucial to customer retention. Our business model, very similar to Airbnb. Uh, you, you're free to list, you set your own terms, you pay only during, when you have a successful booking. And we charge 10% 10, 10 for a successful booking. And again, so very similar again as, as Airbnb, minimum fee of $7.99. We hold it for 24 hours in case there's some issues, uh, 24 hours after the first, the first night's stay, again, just like Airbnb. I think there's some other revenue models, but basically this is a, a transactional model that we're focused on out of the gate. We've been an incredible team, bunch of guys pulled all nighters last night, uh, working hard. Uh, here they are. And um, yeah, we think this is an opportunity that's right for. I have a bunch of testimonials in an appendix 
folks that we talked to, we talked to a whole bunch of folks that sort of validated all those sorts of statistics. 